Hi everyone, welcome to Cobalt Crochet Tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a knit-like ribbing. Now this ribbing is really special because it's joined as you go. So it's not as if you're starting with a strand of ribbing and then you'll work whatever you're working, say a beanie or cloth on top of that. We aren't doing that. We've already worked up our fabric and then we're going to directly add ribbing to that. Also, it's not a separate piece of ribbing where we seam it on later. Again, this is join as you go, so it's a pretty handy technique. Now, I learned this technique from Daisy Farm Crafts. They had a tutorial using this ribbing method, and they created this method, and they used back loop only single crochets. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that same method they created with half double crochets in the third loop only. And this is a really fun way to get a fabric that looks almost exactly knit-like. Okay, so I've worked up, and this is um, my latest design that I'm working on, and you can follow along with this design on my Instagram, Cobalt Crochet, to see how the design's cooking up, etc. But I've already worked up the body of this cardigan, and so on the bottom of this body, I'm going to be adding ribbing. So I worked up the body using a six millimeter crochet hook. So just a regular size um, crochet hook. But for the ribbing, I'm going to go down several sizes. So I'm going to be using a four millimeter hook for this ribbing. Okay, and I haven't fastened off on the body, but you can work this ribbing onto anything. Even uneven edges that don't have defined stitches. But preferably, you will, if you're working this around a blanket, you'll need um, a single crochet border or double crochet border that way you already have these nice stitches lined up so again we're just going to be adding a wall of ribbing across this edge okay so again I have my four millimeter hook now and so I just worked this way on this row and so now I'm going to turn just like normal and then for this specific pattern I'm chaining 17 but chain as many as you need to for the width you want or I should say length you want because the ribbing's going this way. And then chain one more. So chain your desired length plus one. And I will be chaining 17 for this sweater. Okay, so I have my chains. And in the second chain from my hook, I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three. So I worked a half double crochet. Now, in each chain across, I'm going to work another half double crochet. And just do that in each chain across. So I've worked a half double crochet in each chain across. And now we'll be joining this row of half double crochets to um, our main fabric here. So I have double crochets from that last row of the body of the sweater. But whatever stitches you have there is fine. We're going to skip that first stitch and slip stitch in the next. So if you can see, we're working our ribbing this way, and then at the end of every couple rows of ribbing, we slip stitch it to our last main row of whatever project we were working on. So I've done one slip stitch. Then I'll work a slip stitch in the next stitch as well. So I've done two, and again, I skip that first double crochet. Now turn your half double crochet flap. And now don't chain one. Now we'll be working half double crochets in the third loop only. So to give you a general idea of where that third loop is on half double crochets, if you haven't worked one of these before, we aren't working into any of the stitches in that V. See that regular V that you normally work into on top? We aren't working in there. Instead, when you turn it flat like so, we have these horizontal bars across each stitch. So I'll insert my hook in one just to show you. right there. So that's the third loop. So again, it's not these two on top, it's when we turn it we have a horizontal bar right there. Okay, now to find our first half double crochet to work into. So we have our working loop on our hook and those first two V's, those are the two slip stitches we did, so we don't want to work into there. Now here's our third um, V, which is our first half double crochet stitch. So yarn over, 
and there's that third V, find the third loop of that stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that third loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. So that's half double crochet third loop only, and we're going to do that all the way across. Don't work into the chain at the end of the row. Find that third loop. And this pushes those loops in the V on top of the half double crochet onto the other side because we didn't work into them. And that's what creates that knit effect. Now the last stitch is kind of hard to see. These are my two V's on top, and then if I turn it, I see that third bar right here. Now don't work into that turning chain or anything. Instead, chain one, and turn your work. And look how beautiful that is. We have that row of V's just running down and it looks really knit. Alright, let's keep going. So I've chained one and again I'm going to work half double crochets in the third loop only all the way across. So find that third loop. So basically in this ribbing we work two rows of half double crochet third loop only and then we slip stitch to our main base row of double crochets or whatever stitch you have um, in that main fabric there. And then we work two more rows of ribbing, which is half double crochets, third loop only, and then we slip stitch again to that main row of fabric. Now here's where it gets pretty tricky. So I'm working back from that edge, so I'm working back into the side where we slip stitch on, and I have two half double crochets left here, but it's actually hard to tell that. So here's my first half double crochet, here's the next one. So here's the third bar for that second to last stitch, just fairly easy to see. So work into that third bar. Now for my last stitch, you can kind of see three bars all right there, and for preference of how it appears in the, as the end result, I like to work into that bar in the middle. So here's my top bar, and then you can see the middle and bottom bars all right there. So again, I like to go and grab just the middle bar and work my half double crochet. Now it's time to slip stitch to our fabric again that we're joining the ribbing to. So this is also important to get right. We see this stitch, this top of the double crochet, is kind of pulled up because it already has a slip stitch in it. You kind of see that little foot of the stitch in there. So we don't want to slip stitch into that. We'll go into the next stitch and slip stitch, and then one more slip stitch in the next stitch. Now we turn our work, and we're ready to continue on our way. So don't chain one after you've slip stitched, and our first stitch to work into is this third loop right here. Again, the first two V's closest to your hook are gonna be from the two slip stitches that you made. So find that third V, then turn it so you can see the third bar under that third V. And then work your half double crochets across in the third loop only. And from here on out, it's just a matter of repeating what I've shown you over and over and over again. It's really important that fairly often you count your half double crochet stitches just to make sure that you haven't lost or gained any because at the ends of these rows it can get pretty tricky of where to work. So you just want to make sure you always have the same amount, that way this bottom edge stays nice and even. And that's it for this ribbing tutorial. Thanks so much for watching this video. Give this video a like if it helped you out, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.